Hello friends, my name is Deepak Mishra and in this video we are going to talk about Approbation. Approbation means a permanent medical license in Germany. So in my previous video I have talked to you about Berufs Erlaubnis. That means a temporary medical license. But Approbation is one step ahead. That is a permanent medical license. Once you have a Berufs Erlaubnis as a, pre, uh, as a provisional medical license, you have a duration like this, it differs in different states. Like in Niedersachsen, where I am working, uh, it's for two years. Like you get a Berufserlaubnis for first two years and your post-graduation starts with Berufserlaubnis. You don't have to wait for uh, approbation. This is only in Niedersachsen state. I mean, other states, the rules are different. I will cover that later, but let's do it step by step. So with a Berufserlaubnis, you start your post-graduation. Then you have two years time in which you need to get an approbation. That is a... Uh, permanent license so uh, this permanent license is issued by the medical council obviously and uh, the way medical council treats different candidates is differently uh, sometimes it makes sense sometimes it does not make sense that is true but then we have to be we have to live uh, by the medical council right what they say we have to follow that so uh, i'll talk to you about First of all, I will start from India basically. I am an Indian, I come from India and I have also studied in India. Right? So we will talk about candidates like me. If you are an Indian citizen and like uh, Indian national and you have studied in India, then uh, you will definitely have to take an exam in Germany. Like you have to, to become an appropriate arts, to become a approbation as a permanent medical license, you will have to take an exam that they call it as knowledge test. Second will come, if you are an Indian citizen, that is an Indian national and you have studied somewhere else, for example in Russia, Ukraine or say Poland or any other Eastern European country, if you have done that, then there is a chance that you don't have to take the exam. You apply with your documents and then they will find out deficits that okay this you have not studied geriatry because in transcript in uh, suppose for example I'm giving you uh, suppose they tell you that okay you have not studied geriatry then you apply to your uh, university in Russia or Ukraine or whatever and then you request them that okay please certify that I have studied geriatry then universities over there that there do that actually they certify that you have this person has studied geriatry and uh, that was in part of her syllabus and then they send that document here to Germany and then they accept it so you get your approbation without examination, just by verification of your documents. So that is two. Now third point is that uh, people who are European Union, people from European Union, I mean, see it comes under uh, European Union, this uh, act and everything, you know, the European Union laws that everybody has the right to work in another country in, in European Union, they are nationals. So they come very easily, they apply, just apply for uh, approbation by medical council and they send their original things and everything and then they get it automatically within few weeks for them it does not take very long and then last ones are the Germans Germans they get it automatically after their medical college medical school uh, examinations and everything what we have uh, not considered here is uh, the Arabs the uh, people from Arab world from Africa uh, so these people also have to follow our route some countries in Arab world, that is like Egypt, Jordan, maybe, uh, I'm not sure about other countries, but these two countries, the university there, uh, they, uh, they are considered equivalent to German university. German medical council considers the education over there equal. That's why they give approbation to those people without taking any exam. So this is how the system is about approbation about the details of the exam, what I've talked about exam, 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 what the exam is, what do they ask, how do they ask it, how you should prepare, that I will talk in, in a separate uh, video that will discuss about the uh, four bear item, that is a preparation for exam, that we'll discuss later. But for now, uh, I think I have basically covered what approbation is and how it is different from uh, Beruf Serlaubnis. Yeah, one more thing, approbation, you have two chances to take approbation exam like you uh, once if you fail the exam once then you have one more chance to take the exam and if you fail twice then you are no longer allowed to take the exam in that state 
that is how the rule is so i think uh, i have take i have taken a very uh, brief overview about this approbation thing and i'll keep making more videos please like and subscribe to the channel so that when i make new videos it can reach you and you people can also benefit from the information uh so please like share and subscribe to the channel so that i will also be motivated to make some good videos and uh, about the editing thing and the thing this right now i'm making very raw videos but i hope to make uh, better videos for your benefit uh, later on all right then with this note i take your leave for today and uh, have a nice day bye bye take care